Hello, my name is Louis Liu and my Chinese name is Liu Shiyu. I live in Shanghai, China. My high school is Shanghai World Foreign Language Academy. I'm a big fan of physics and mechanics, especially designing and building machines. I also attended the robotic clubs in our school and entered the FTC competition last year. Uh, in this summer vacation, I started a project on an automatic intelligent oxygen mask. And the reason to design this mask is based on my personal experience. During my last trip to Tibet, I felt very dizzy and uncomfortable when I was hiking in the mountains. The headache was very sudden and I didn't feel any premonition. I think the primary reason for the headache is hypoxia. People can hardly notice the subtle change in oxygen level when they arrive at the high altitude localities but when they notice the change, it's already too late. So I developed this oxygen mask to help people monitor the change in temperature, pulse, and oxygen level to prevent hypoxia. Okay, let's take a look at the internal structure of this system. First, uh, this is the MCU, and this, is, uh, this red board is the driving board. And here is an air valve that connects the oxygen tank with the mask. Um, uh, at here, we have a pulse uh, sensor that uh, will measure the pulse of the user. And here is a, a temperature sensor that will measure the temperature of the surrounding. And here's also an oxygen sensor that uh, can uh, let the user monitor the uh, oxygen level of the surroundings. And all these uh, information will be loaded to the app on the phone. And this is the battery that will power this system. Function 1. When the temperature is below a certain level, cell phone will vibrate and the app will display a warning sign which shows temperature too low. Function 2. When the user's heart rate is over a certain level, the phone will also vibrate and the app will display a warning sign which shows heart rate too high. Uh, the third function is about the oxygen tank. When uh, the heart rate is too high and the oxygen level is too low, the tank will uh, open automatically just like this. And then um, uh, the mask uh, actually looks like this. Uh, you connect uh, the tube onto the mask and wear it. With the help of this mask, I hope that travelers can uh, prevent hypoxia more effectively and have more comfortable trips in the future. And this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching.